Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about a new product from HRT. And if that name sounds familiar to you guys, it might if you've been with the channel for any period of time because I run their plate carriers right here. I really, really do like their products. Um, not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent, but I know the guys, I've met the guys from SHOT Show, and I've really jumped on board supporting their brand because of all the hard work that they put into their products. And this new one is no exception. Just came out a couple of weeks ago, and I'm actually kind of running a little behind on getting a video out for you guys. But uh, if you haven't already, Tactical Considerations has done a really great video and I'm just going to kind of piggyback off of his video to talk to you guys about what's going on with this, why you might want to use one, and some other specifics behind it as well. What are we talking about? We are talking about the H-Harness from HRT. Basically, it is a setup for a chest rig right here. So let's go ahead and throw this on real quick and you guys can see how easy it is to get it on and then we'll talk about some of the things going on with it. Basically what I like to do is I like to unbuckle the uh, shorter shoulder harness here and then kind of swim through. Reach around, buckle in, adjust it a little bit and then I can take my waist strap right here wrap that around and I'm all buckled in. So what is kind of the point behind a chest rig? And that's a question that I've been asking for a couple of years now. Previously I had thought, well, if you're running a chest rig, that usually means that you're going to be running like rifle mags. And if you need to level your gear up to the point where uh, you're running rifle mags, you might want to have some body armor on instead because <laughs> that usually means that people are going to be shooting back at you. After that, I've taken some time to kind of reconsider that opinion, talk to a number of different people, not only with the guys from HRT, but I have some uh, friends in law enforcement. I've got uh, some friends that are active duty military. Uh, I've got some training friends as well, some instructors. And the consensus is, Yes, that is a valid point that I had. However, if I'm already running soft armor and I just need to quickly level up, I can take a chest rig, toss it on, attach it, and that is going to be a lot quicker than taking off my soft armor, putting on heavy armor to have my magazines running uh, with me as well. So that is one consideration. In addition to that, for those individuals that like to train a lot, uh, get out to the range and, and you know run some scenarios maybe do some competition shooting like two gun or three gun um, or whatever the case may be a chest rig might actually help a little bit better as well because you may not want to spend all day in your heavy plate carrier you might want to just kind of dial it down a little bit maybe you're just kind of relaxing at the range a little bit you don't want to wear all the heavy stuff you can put on a chest rig and it's going to simulate exactly where your magazines are going to be, or at least it should, depending on what setup that you have. So that's kind of the mentality behind a chest rig. And I can really say that I've changed my mind on the viewpoint of using these uh, so far. Now, I've only been able to get this out to the range one time and I was running it with my AK-74. Uh, this will, this particular setup will except AK-74 mags. There's a couple different ways that you can set this up as well, but that's the major thing about what HRT has done here is they've made this completely modular. So what are you doing? What are you buying? So on and so forth. If you're wanting to buy the H-Harness, what you are actually purchasing is going to be all of the straps here. And then from that point, then you're going to be able to mix and match exactly what you want for your actual placard. So you'll be making basically two different purchases. Or maybe you already have a placard that has all the different buckle setups. You could use this for those as well. Maybe you wanna use the Maximus setup, which has not only rifle magazine pouches here, but it has administrative pouches and then 
pistol mag pouches on the side, you could do that. You could do something a little bit more streamlined like this one where it's just magazine pouches, or you can actually purchase these additional pouches here where you can just take this, it has a little flap on the back side. You would weave that on the inside of this pouch and then just stick it up front here. You have magazine uh, pouches for not only your rifle but also your pistol as well and then if you wanted to go even further you can actually attach uh, an administrative pouch here um, just like the Maximus it folds out like so and again you would weave this little flap onto the inside of the placard and then just attach it on the velcro so now you have a spot for not only administrative stuff chem lights uh, multi-tool uh, maybe some notepads, pens, map, something like that. Maybe even put your uh, cell phone there and then you have pistol mags, rifle mags, and you're good to go. Or maybe say you just don't need your pistol mags because those are on your belt. You can double up on the administrative pouches or again, like I said, pull them both off, streamline it to where you are just using your rifle mags and you're good to go. So that is something I really, really did like about the modularity of this particular setup. You can set it up exactly the way you want it and go from there. Maybe you wanna have two different setups, one for your plate carrier, one for your chest rig. You could do that. You could also switch those as you wanted to, or you could just set up everything exactly the same way, regardless if it's on your plate carrier or on your chest rig here, and that way it is not going to interfere with your OODA loop and ensuring that you have exactly what you need where you need it, so on and so forth. So um, a number of different things to consider, a number of different ways to kind of mix and match how exactly you want it. Now the great thing about this is the suspenders on here are going to be a little bit over an inch wide. Everything is going to be double or boxed stitched and it's going to be extremely durable. It's going to run 500 denier cordura which is going to be a very very durable fabric and it's going to have uh, a really nice ventilation system on the back side which most of the placards are going to come with uh, regardless of what you're purchasing, they're going to have this nice little wick away padding on the back side so that you don't have that hard hook and loop running up against your, uh, your chest or your clothes or whatever the case may be. So that is something I really do like. Um, the straps are positioned exactly where you can get to them. Not even looking, I'm actually setting everything back up just the way I had it. And like I said, it's easy to swim in and out of as well. So very convenient, um, again, has changed my perception on exactly what these could be used for. And I really do appreciate HRT sending this out to me to check this out. Now, naturally, I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, I just really do like what HRT is doing and uh, appreciate them supporting the channel in sending this to review for you guys. Now. The way I do things, you guys know, I always talk about the good with the bad as well. Realistically, uh, what are some of the concerns that I have uh, with this particular setup? Uh, to be frankly honest with you, there's not too much. The biggest thing is realistically trying to get this fitted against your body the way that you want. They have some tie downs right here, which is nice, uh, but I will say that uh, if you have a little tactical fluff, if you have a bit of a belly, this may slide up a little bit on your chest. And then as you can see, this is going to kind of flop down a little bit. So you want to make sure that your adjustments are exactly the way you want it. And if you can, maybe get out and lose a couple of pounds. I've gained some weight here recently. I'm working on trying to uh, shed some pounds before a big race that I have coming up here at the end of September. But realistically, um, there's really not too much to complain about this. Maybe about the only thing that I would say is there's a lot of different attachment points here. Um, I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, uh, the side attachment points here could have been integrated into the waistband of some, some way. I'm not an engineer, so I'm not sure exactly how that would work, but realistically, there's a lot of attachment points uh, throughout here. 
I will say that it does very well on keeping this tight to the body, but again, uh, a lot of points to get snagged on right here, right here, or even on the shoulder strap. So just a couple different things to consider. Uh, again, overall, I think this is a great product for you guys to check out. Swing on by HRT. I'll have a link down in the description below where you can find this and the different placards as well. And I'd encourage you guys just at the very least swing by, check it out, see what you guys think. And let me know down in the comment section down below, would you run a chest rig or are you strictly a plate carrier guy? I thought I was a plate carrier guy, but I've kind of changed my mind and I really do appreciate not only my friends, but HRT kind of coaching me along and better understanding why using something like this may be beneficial. That's up to you guys though, whether or not this is going to be right for you. So again, sound off in the comment section down below and we are going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Thank you so much for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. Patreon crew, you're always crushing it. Thank you for all this support and we will catch you guys next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Take care guys, we'll catch you guys later. Bye.